closet. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a mesh top, a long top, or you can wear it as a bikini cover up in the summer.
the piece uh, be below here, underneath here, and just put the stitch markers on the seam. The neckline on this part here, the front and the back piece together. So now we need to do the armhole. The armhole mesh, uh, measurement from from the shorter part to here is around 10 inches, exactly the same as on the other side. I will put then the stitch markers on the top piece as well. So that I will start connecting the, the seams um, of the dress here together. I'm going to start from this side, my left hand side, because I still have the, the yarns left. So what I would do, just going to start from the first, first stitch, first, first here, first mesh. I'll go to chain one, two, three here. So chain from where we started and then you just bring bring the yarn from the other side through like this and I have the stitch markers here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to change two and then I'll go to so I'll leave two stitches, I'll go to the third one and then I'll connect with the, the one on the back, pull the yarn through, change two and then you skip two stitches. So basically just go to the stitch where you have the double crochets and then just pull the yarn through like this, change two and then repeat until you you get to this stitch I will go I will go to this part here and do this on the other side of the dress as well so make sure they're the same same length and also do it on the side for the side I will okay, be starting from this part here and then just do it along but on the bottom of this dress here on the side I will need to leave it maybe around 10 centimeter because I want this dress to be split to have the size split so I will leave around 10 inches when you measure from the bottom of the dress upwards and repeat this on the other side as well so the sides are connected, you can see here the seam allowance on this side, both sides, also on the top part where we put the stitch markers on. And remember I left the armholes for about 10 inches, so that would be 20 inches round both sides. And on this part as well, I just left it from here to, to, um, to this part here, it's also 10 inches. And now let's move on to the sleeve. Here is the wrong side of the dress. I will turn the piece inside out. So you can see I still have the, the ends left in a few places. So we need to get back to this later. Turn back to the right side. It's the right side of the dress. And you have the armhole here, the neckline, because I, when I wear it, I want this dress to be a bit off the, showing the shoulder. So that's why I left it this long. And for the sleeves, we need to start from the, from where I have left the yarn here. 
get the needles and then we need to just start uh, repeat the the mesh stitches exactly the same there is no increasing or decreasing i will change up to five one two three four five and then i will start from the first mesh mesh on this one here and do double crochet and then just repeat the mesh stitches by chain two. So I will first put the stitch markers on the row where we um, starting. So I will put it here so I know here is the arm where we're starting to do the armhole. <laughs> and two in this gap and one here two here and one single crochet on here so just keep repeating these until you reach where you have started and you do one more sleeve on the other side and just repeat this part to com complete the, the sleeves so for this neckline part here, I will also do the same. So what you need to do is just exactly the same. Do two single crochets on, on the gap and one single crochet on here. Two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet. And do this all the way around the neckline. Also do just exactly the same as on the the bottom part of the dress. So here I have the
insert a crochet hook in between this part here, the middle part, and you just need to wrap around the, the needle thigh. So just wrap it around twice, or more if you need to. And now try to pull this true and then I would chain up 250 centimeter it's very thick the yarn pulled it so it's so it's tighter so chain up 250 centimeters I need to Trim this part here so you get one tassel. After 150 centimeters, I will cut the ends off like this, pull them through, and you still have the two ends. Just strand of yarn and then just wrap this round again. Here's the thickness I want. Cut it off, slide this out, and insert the one end of, of this strand here through and just tie it tight. twice or more just to make sure it's, it's tight enough and then I get another yard like this to wrap around this top part here try to pull it tight And the rest you just need to trim this. Now you have two tassels and these strings. We need to bring the dress. So to wear these tassels, to put to put the tassels um, on the dress, you can just uh, leave the dress like this and then just tie it outside on the waist. So this is entirely up to you how you're going to tie the dress on the top. So just leave it like this. I put this dress on and then just place the string with the tassels where it fits your, your body, where you want these strings to be. So just insert what I did was, I just go along the, 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 the uh, what you call this here, in between the um, mesh rows here. I skipped one, two, I go to the third, I skip one, two, two of these gaps, I go to the third one, so I just keep going around with one side of the strings and then you just meet meet um, each other at the end where where's the front part here so this is up to you, you can just wear it um, in any style you can design and here is the final product so you can see we have the sleeves it looks like a kimono kind of style. This tassel with the string is the bottom part. 
Here is the split side. Both sides, left and right. So you can wear these on the summer days. Wear it as a bikini cover up. This size would fit, I would say, size S and M to fit the bus size 30, 34, 36. And also the hips, it's more like a free, it's more like one size. All right guys, so thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I have many videos that I've done, so if any one of you ever done any of these items, so feel free to share them on my Instagram account under Pom Closet, so I can share your works. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, any comment, please write it down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. So I will see you then in the next video.